Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Sir Alex Ferguson Challenge with Sheffield United in today's episode. We have the Champions League quarterfinals. The draw has been done and we have Bayer Leverkusen. I, I think that was probably the best draw we could have gotten. By no means are they a bad side, but compared to the other teams that are still left in the competition, it gives us the best hope of getting to the Champions League semis. But there's been five games in the Premier League since last episode and things are heating up. The first game following Munchen Gladbach was a 2-1 home victory against Southampton. Esposito and Haaland with the goals for us. They took an 85th minute winner after Trincao had equalised in the 72nd minute. And next up was crunch game. It was first versus second. Arsenal away from home and we managed to come away with the victory. Danny Olmo in the 16th minute getting the goal that gave us the three points and put us on the top of the league. Next up was the FA Cup sixth round draw against Chelsea, which we played away from home. And we, I mean, looking at the match stats, it looks pretty even, but we dominated Chelsea. Don't get things wrong. They just threw the kitchen sink at us towards the end of the game and leveled things up in terms of the match stats. But Esposito in two minutes, Pellegrini in 46, Wayne Knowles came on and got himself a goal. It was just a joyous occasion all round. We then went away from home against West Ham and had a very, very difficult time. We did get the three points though. Esposito with the goal in the 24th minute, but then Renato Sanchez got sent off in the 42nd minute, meaning the entirety of the second half was with 10 men, but West Ham just couldn't capitalise with the advantage and we retained our three points. And then Liverpool decided to make things interesting and beat us. They beat us 3-2 away from home. Milico with two goals. Lotero Martinez with a goal for them as well. Erling Haaland had equalised for us in the 21st minute and Wayne Knowles got a bit of a consolation in the 92nd. But after those set of fixtures, we are still top. We are level on points with Arsenal. Goal difference is our only saving grace. And with only six games remaining in the league, I mean, Manchester City is still not out. There's 18 points to play for, but it looks like it's going to be between us and Arsenal. But the league isn't the focus of today's episode. It is the Champions League by Leverkusen of course, in the Champions League quarterfinals, but there is a Man City tie uh, squashed in between at home in the Premier League, so we're going to have to keep an eye out for that as well. But this was the draw. Uh, Bayern, Lazio, Inter Milan, Arsenal, Barcelona, Liverpool, and in the semis, if we are to make it through, we will face the winners of Barcelona and Liverpool. So motoring through to the first leg, which is away from home, which is absolutely perfect. This is how we're going to line up. Jordan Pickford in goal, Bella Kocap, Batella, and Angine as our centre-backs. Dodo and Luca Pellegrini as our wing-backs. Renato Sanchez in the box-to-box. -box. Mariba as the Mazzala. Danny Olmo starts in behind Erling Haaland and Sebastiano Esposito. We've got pretty much a full-strength side, so our bench is looking pretty strong as well. Let's get to the game. Now, Mönchengladbach was stressful, but Leverkusen have just as good, if not a better side. They've got the likes of Ryan Gravenberch in centre midfield. They've got uh, Femi Koch. I'm going to say that. Um, <laughs> he is currently starting up top for today's game. He doesn't look unbelievable, but I know he's got some good potential on Football Manager. And they've just got a pretty strong defence as well with Jonathan Tarr or Nana in goal. Uh, Boomgartel is the centre-back. He looks pretty decent. But looking at the squad, would you agree that we have a better first eleven? I think we do. It all depends on how we play on the night over the two legs as well. So um, let's just get the kick off. Esposito's in good form. Haaland's doing okay. Danny Olmo's always playing well. Our striking force is, you know, intact and injury free. So we'll just have to see how this game goes. The first 15 minutes or so go by without any highlights whatsoever. I'm quite happy with that. The match stats, you know, they're pretty even, pretty favourable towards us uh, now. But I would, I would take a nil-nil draw in the first leg away from home. I wouldn't mind getting a couple of away goals, even if it means a 2-2 draw, just to give us that little bit of a cushion. But on 35 minutes, we get our first highlight. Dodo down the right-hand side, plays it with Haaland, finds Esposito in the box. We have to go back and restart Dodo with the ball. And Esposito was there, and that wasn't on target. Another highlight now, 38 minutes in. It's again coming down that right-hand side for us with Dodo. He gets past his man. He gets past another. He gets the byline. Esposito, oh my God, what a challenge that was. I think it was Jonathan Tarr. And he takes it off Esposito's foot for sure. That would have been 1-0 to us. Very, very good defending by the Bayer Leverkusen man. The highlight continues though from our corner. Oh, thank God for that. Onjin gets back and gets a challenge in. It is a corner to Bayer Leverkusen, which hopefully will lead to nothing. The highlight continues and we are on the break now. Jordan Pickford actually claimed the corner and did a quick kick. And please, just finish this highlight. 
Two minutes to go in the first half. Bayer Leverkusen are on their own attack down their right hand side. Oh, what a oh, I mean, he, he could have he could have run that in. He didn't even need to shoot. Ruben Vargas gets his fifth goal of the season and puts Bayer Leverkusen in front just before half time. Ugh. Decent player from them, in fairness, on this right hand side, and it's a great ball in that completely does our defence. Nobody tracking Vargas. And as you can see, Jordan Pickford can't keep the ball out and buy Leverkusen go 1 0 up. And there it is, half time, despite a very promising first half by us, we find ourselves trailing. Um, disappointing to have conceded in the way we did, but I'm happy with how we're performing. We just need some goals. First highlight of the second half begins. With a Bayer Leverkusen corner. It's played in. We managed to get a clear Jonathan Tarr. Somebody please. Oh my. Oh he goes just wide. We're going back to a positive team mentality. These boys are just giving me no comfort whatsoever. 60 minutes in now. Maybe we have our highlight of our own. It's on Gene. Just punts the ball forward. Esposito is over the top. One on one with the keeper. He's not finishing that. I am on the public beta. As I've said numerous times during this um during the last few episodes and still one-on-ones i mean they're not as bad as they were but I, you've probably seen in the past few episodes one-on-ones are not uh clear cut by any stretch of the imagination right 20 minutes to go we're gonna to have to make some substitutions esposito was having a poor game we're gonna get Wayne Knowles on and we're also gonna get marcus antonio on for iliax mariba in the center of midfield and we're gonna go back to an attacking team mentality we're gonna push the tempo and our passing directness a little bit and um, we'll look to make some more team instructions changes. We will dribble, run at the defence, be more expressive. And that's pretty much all we are going to do for the final eight minutes. We'll go very attacking for the final five. Make our final substitution. If any of you were wondering how I panic when we are 1-0 down in the game, this is pretty much it. Dodo picks up a knock towards the end of the game. But this game's just going to peter out. Two minutes remain. Please don't make it 2-0. They hit the bar. Um, a disappointing first leg if this finishes as things stand. I think we deserved a little bit more from this game than to get beat 1-0. Uh, we had a good couple of opportunities ourselves, but just not able to take them. And with 30 seconds remaining, this highlight is probably going to lay to nothing. And there we are, full time. Bayer Leverkusen 1, Sheffield United 0. A disappointing result, but it's not the end of the world. We are away from home, and we still have the home tight to turn things around. We've got Manchester City in between. I'll go and play that, show you the result, and we'll get to the second leg. Well, the Manchester City game didn't exactly go as planned. Sheffield United nil, Man City nil. I don't know what that does to the league table as things stand. We'll see if Arsenal... I don't even know if Arsenal played or not. We'll actually find out right now and see if we are still top of the Premier League table. I doubt it. I don't think we will be. Arsenal drew as well, so we do remain top of the table. They are seriously falling apart in the second half of this season. Just look at them sort of run. They drew nil-nil away against Leeds, which is great for us. Um, they haven't got a very difficult run in, in the Premier League, whereas you compare it to ours, we've got the likes of Manchester United, probably makes it more difficult than theirs. But um, the way they are playing at the minute, it's not very good. So moving on from the league, we are back. In the Champions League, we have uh, Bayer Leverkusen in the second leg. We are at home. And this is how... No, I'm going to drop Mariba. He's just not performing particularly well. We're going to get Daniel Moore back in that spot. We're going to move Jean-Pierre in behind the strikers. Hopefully, he can make a good <laughs> with some of his form and have a good game for us today and justify my decision. Uh, so, that is going to be the only change for the lineup. Um, everything else remains the same from the first leg. We'll see how this goes. Obviously, 1-0 down from the first leg. We really need to step it up. It looks like they're playing a pretty similar system and personnel from the last game. Let's see how things go in here. We really, I really want to get to the semi-finals of the Champions League. I really do. Once again, a quiet opening 20 minutes. Neither side really taking control in this match. I am going to go to a positive team mentality now. Dropping it from the attack and to see if we can retain possession a little bit better. And hopefully be able to break Leverkusen down slowly. But with 10 minutes remaining in this first half, it's not looking great right now. First highlight of the game, 40 minutes in. Danny Olmo with a corner. It's played in. Foster Jean-Pierre takes it. Oh, my God. Didn't get the man to get the shot on goal. Two blocks in a row. And we go again with another corner from Olmo. It's played in. Haaland's there. And it goes wide. Another highlight now. One of our Pellegrini's off. The pitch currently injured and Volland has taken full advantage of that on the right hand side. 
and they'll go for goal and nearly go and take the lead. We will get Pellegrini off at half time for Josh Timon, who was on the bench. Uh, disappointing first half from us. We didn't really create too many opportunities. Do our boys realise that they'll go out if we don't like score and win? I think I don't think they do. We are dominating going by the match stats, and at 57 minutes in, there is another highlight. Leverkusen managed to clear. And they pick up the ball. Come on, winner back, Jump here. Danny Olmo with a lovely ball. Haaland's in behind. He goes for goal. What a save that is by Onana. Keeps by Leverkusen at nil nil. Danny Olmo takes a corner, please. Somebody win this. Patella knocks it back to Josh Time and Jean Pierre. And that's that's that. 20 minutes to go. It's not looking great. Erling Haaland's going to come off having a poor game for Wayne Knowles. We've only got one substitution left. We will save it just in case. We will look to go by a bit more direct. We'll shoot on sight. We'll be a bit more expressive. We'll see if these can make any sort of difference. 18 minutes to go. We need a goal. Wayne Knowles picks up the ball from Bella Kotchap's throwing. It falls to Danny. Almost so much space for Josh Time in there. We'll manage to get the ball out of him. Not the greatest of passes, but he gets the ball in. Dodo, Wayne Knowles. He comes on. Is that offside? I don't want to celebrate. Is that offside? It is not offside. Wayne Knowles is the 18th goal of the season. An assist by Dodo. We are back in this tie and I need to make changes to the team instructions. We've gone a little bit too attacking and um, we'll go back to a positive team mentality. But we are back in this tie. 1-1 one, one in aggregate. Any goal by Bayer Leverkusen will be devastating. So we really need to hold on to at least get the extra time and give ourselves the best chance. Nine minutes remain, eight minutes, five minutes remain. Come on boys, get another goal. We'll demand some more from them but it looks like it's going to extra time the time is taken away and now we are extra time we've dominated this match we deserve the to get to this point anything after this is all down to the boys we will personally tell them they can do a little bit better and they're all pretty happy with that oh no don't do this john pickford good claim the highlight continues one minute in extra time dodo beats his man he gets him he's going to go for goal isn't he i knew that was happening oh no no with another good save, he has turned out to be a bit of a kryptonite of us over these two legs. Danny Olmo with the ball in, it's cleared again. Patella can pick it up though. Is this going to lead anything? Wayne Knowles, Wayne Knowles is the man. He is the man for the big occasions. 19th goal of the season, an assist by David Patella. We go 2-0 up on the night, 2-1 up on aggregate. And we're in front. We are 18 minutes away from Champions League semi-final. He has done brilliantly since he's came on and he has rescued this tie for us. We will go cautious. We will, they are defensive currently. We are cautious. It'll have to draw them out a little bit and it might end up creating some opportunities for us as another highlight. Dodo crosses the ball in. Esposito falls to Sanchez. John Pierre goes for goal. <laughs> Esposito was offside. He was a mile off. We're starting to see some very, very tired legs there. So at half time, in extra time, we will look to make some subs. Danny almost had a great game, but he's going to have to come off. We'll put John Pierre in behind the strikers. Um, he already was behind the strikers. We'll get we'll get Mariba on. I have faith, sort of, and we'll also get Marcus Antonio on for Renato Sanchez. Um, come on, boys. Ten minutes remain. If we can just hold on, please. No highlights. I don't want to. Oh, no, I don't want to say anything. I really, really don't. John Pickford claims it. The highlight continues. Josh Chiman. Timon driving forward down the left-hand side. Finds Dodo. We're a bit compact here. Marcus Antonio picks up the ball. Back to Mareba. Back to Josh. It finds its way to Esposito on this left-hand side. Back to Mareba. Don't get dispossessed right now. Esposito goes for goal. And it's a good save by Onana again. We'll stick with this highlight even though it's a corner. Marcus Antonio to play it in. Uh, whenever you're ready, mate. Um, and there we are. End of highlight. Two minutes remain. One minute remains. Extra time remains, injury time, and there we have it. We have beaten Bayer Leverkusen 2-0 on the night. Wayne Knowles is exactly the reason why we are currently in the Champions League semi-finals. Now, let's go and find out who we will be facing. Is it going to be Barcelona or is it going to be Liverpool? It's going to be Barcelona. They'll beat Liverpool over two legs, only on penalties. The other semi-final will be an all-Italian clash, Lazio against Inter Milan. Oh, I can breathe. So if you're currently sat there thinking what the next episode's going to be, of course, it's going to be the Champions League semi-finals against Barcelona. It is overshadowing the league a little bit. 
but there's still everything to play for. With five games to go, we are level on points with Arsenal, and it's going to be huge if we can claim the title. But obviously, the focus has got to be on the Champions League, and that's what we'll see next. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.